Now is an excellent time to buy a Samsung smartphone. The company has a wide range of models at different price points, and many of their older models are discounted since newer versions have been released. The flagship S22 models are a great option if you're looking for a high-end device. They were released a few months ago, so the prices have come down since then. There are no new models scheduled to launch in the near future, so if you want the latest and greatest from Samsung, the S22 is your best bet. If you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, the A-Series lineup is nearly complete for this year. The A53 has already been released, and the A23, A33, and A73 are shipping soon. The A03S and A13 are both great budget options. With all the new 2022 devices out now, previous year's smartphones have hit their lowest prices. So, if you want a great phone at a significant discount and you don't mind it being a year too old, there are some great options available. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best Samsung phones to buy right now in early 2022. We'll be covering all budgets and prices, so whether you're looking for a high-end flagship or a more affordable mid-range option, we've got you covered. I'll also be giving my top pick for the best overall phone. So, without further ado, let's get started. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. Best New Phone, A53 The best new phone from Samsung right now is the A53 5G. It might come as a bit of a surprise when you consider the fact that it offers really minor improvements and upgrades compared to the A52. But remember this category is strictly best new phone out right now. And for the price, $450 unlocked or hugely discounted via carrier deal, for the specs and features you get for that price, it is the best overall new device. When you factor all of that in, you get a 120Hz AMOLED display, brand new Exynos processor, bigger battery, better cameras, and quite a few years of Android updates which makes it a solid long-term investment. Now, arguably, if you have an A52 from last year, there's no real reason to upgrade. But if you have something else, something older, something lower on the smartphone ladder, and you have to have something brand new from this year, this is the one I'd recommend. Best Budget, A13 and A03s The Samsung A13 5G is one of the best budget phones you can buy right now. It's widely available, competitively priced, and comes with a number of great features. The A13 5G launched at $250, but carriers are already discounting it to as low as $180 for existing customers. In some cases, it is even a free device if you're willing to switch carriers. The phone itself is a significant upgrade over the A12, with a faster processor and overall better performance. It also has a silky smooth 90Hz display. The A13 5G is definitely faster than you might think, but it's also the cheapest 5G, capable device from Samsung. If you're looking for the best budget Samsung phone, the A13 5G is my top pick. The A03s is a more affordable Samsung phone, but it has too many sacrifices in comparison. For example, it doesn't have a 90Hz screen, it has slower older specs, and a worse camera setup. Sure, it's also free for most carriers and prepaid networks, but even if you have to pay a little more to get the A13 5G, I think you're getting a significantly better device in almost every way. If you just need a phone, any phone, that's specifically a Samsung or Android device, the A03s is perfectly fine. Best Overall Value, S20 Fe. If you want to talk value, though the best overall bang for your buck smartphone that Samsung still kind of offers is the S20 Fe. You guys know that I actually think this is the best smartphone Samsung has ever released, and it holds a special place in my heart, but regardless of my own bias, this is a device that still packs a punch, even after about two years. You're able to find this phone now with a special at NT offer, for example, or usually under $400 from Amazon Renewed, and what you get is a big flagship caliper device with really minimal compromises for a fraction of the price. If you have this phone, I think this is a great device to hold for the long term, another two or three years at least, and even if you buy it right now, you've got Android 12 ready to go, with Android 13 promised, and comparatively spec for spec, this phone has like 90% of the features compared to even the flagship S22 lineup. I think Samsung accidentally made the S20 Fe too good when they released it, high refresh rate display, flagship Snapdragon processor, phenomenal camera, fun colors too. It kind of made the flagship S20 a poor buy at the time, and even now, considering the half dozen other S-series phones Samsung seems to have released, I don't think there's a better S-series phone than this one. 
I do just briefly want to mention that the relatively new S21 Fei now unfortunately, while there's literally nothing wrong with the S21 Fei and in fact it's a similarly good value device, the problem with it really is just that it came out like 6 months too late. It's an S21-ish device that came out basically with the S22 lineup, and it was also priced like $50 to $100 too much in my opinion, when you take into consideration the current smartphone market. Fortunately, you can snag an S21 Fei now from a carrier and secure a pretty good deal, but I wouldn't pay full retail price unlocked for this phone. S22 Ultra This year, Samsung has released its newest flagship phone, the S22 Ultra. This phone is one of the most expensive on the market, but it is also one of the most feature-packed. The S Pen is a unique feature that allows you to use the phone as a stylus and is a must-have for many users. The performance of the S22 Ultra is impressive, with the latest Snapdragon 888 processor offering plenty of power. The 12GB of RAM ensures that there's no slowdown, even when multitasking, and the 5000 mAh battery offers plenty of stamina. In terms of gaming, the S22 Ultra is a powerhouse, and is capable of running the latest games at high frame rates. The camera setup on the S22 Ultra is impressive, with a quad camera array that includes a 108MP main sensor. The result is a phone that is capable of taking some stunning photos, with plenty of detail and excellent low-light performance. Overall, the S22 Ultra is a phone that has been designed to offer the very best in terms of specs and features. It's a powerful phone that is capable of running the latest games and apps, and takes some stunning photos. If you're looking for the very best, then the S22 Ultra should be at the top of your list. Best Deals on Flagships, S21 or S22 when it comes to flagship phones, many people are wondering if it is worth upgrading to the new S22 lineup. After all, last year's S21 flagship is still a great phone and can be found at a fraction of the cost of the new S22. So, what is the verdict? For the most part, the S22 is not a huge upgrade from the S21. Sure, there are some new features and slightly better specs, but nothing that is worth spending a lot of money on. If you have an S21, there is no need to upgrade to the S22. You will save a lot of money and won't be missing out on anything. However, if you don't have an S21 and are in the market for a new phone, the S22 is a great option. It is a bit more expensive than the S21, but it is still a great phone. Oldest, S10. The Samsung S10 lineup was a great all-around deal when it was released as a flagship in 2019. Even now, it's still a great phone to consider, especially if you can find it at a low price. It has an AMOLED screen, 1440 resolution, Snapdragon 855, and most importantly it received its Android 12 update recently, so it feels like a new or at least somewhat current flagship device, specifically from a software perspective. The camera setup is also still great. It offers a premium build and it also depreciated to about as low as could be. You can find this phone for as low as $230 on Amazon, which is just crazy. If you're coming from a budget A-series phone and want to stay under $300, the S10 makes a ton of sense. It's a couple years old, sure, but it's not that far removed from the flagships of today. It still has some life left in it and it is very inexpensive now to say the least. Best S Pen Deal, Note 10 the Samsung Note 10 from a couple of years ago is still a great phone, even compared to the newer S22 Ultra. The biggest selling point for the Note 10 is its price, it can be found for just over $300 on Amazon. When it originally came out, it was a very expensive phone, but compared to the S22 Ultra, it is only a couple of steps down in terms of specs and performance. The S Pen writing and app experience is still excellent, and the phone is very fast and powerful. The only downside is that it is unlikely to receive the Android 13 update. However, everything else about the phone makes it a great value at its current price point. I've compiled a list of what I believe to be the best Samsung smartphones currently on the market. These are great phones if you're looking for something new, different, or especially good value. Do you agree with my choices? Is there another phone you would recommend? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for today, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more videos from our channel, subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell icon.